Sanctuary or safe zones can refer to all kinds of immigrant-friendly laws, policies, and resolutions that share a common belief of keeping communities safer and keeping ICE out of local law enforcement. Schools, colleges, hospitals, worship communities, and public events are sensitive locations that even ICE themselves recognize as protected. Will you offer sanctuary? This is a real reality for undocumented immigrants. Local organizations are the most up-to-date on sanctuary policies because every city, county, and state is different. Sign up for the alerts on their emails or Facebook. Ask if there's a rapid response network that you can support. Practice and share fundamental rights, like close the door on ICE if they don't have a judicial warrant. Remember, you have the right to remain silent. Sir, are you a citizen? I don't have to answer that question, sir. And always record and report with pictures and video. The University of Minnesota collected more than 1,000 signatures in the last week asking the university to create a sanctuary campus. I wanted to really make a voice for the undocumented students. Work for your local school to enact a sanctuary policy. Everyone can gather petitions, organize sit-ins, walkouts, or even town halls to get your board to enact sanctuary policies. Develop a local volunteer network in case students have detained family members or are detained themselves. If you're a teacher, you are often a first stop for kids needing help. Discussing current policies lets students share how they are affected. Call school meetings to educate about immigrant rights and protection policies. Connect with parents and let them know you're a safe resource for help. If you're a parent, provide resources for your school, such as connections to a local immigration org or pro bono lawyers in case a family needs legal support. More than 6,000 people have signed up to provide sanctuary around the country, including 800 churches. We will keep people safe, and if they come to us, we know how to keep them safe. Nosotros somos las personas, tenemos el poder, power to the people. Faith communities joining the sanctuary movement provide a way to support undocumented people and keep families together. Advocate and organize. Build teams in your congregations dedicated to actions to support immigrants and refugees. Become part of the Deportation Defense Network. Offer legal clinics and legal defense funds. Provide workshops on Know Your Rights and how to prepare families if there is a deportation. Faith leaders can show up to accompany undocumented people at check-ins with ICE to lower that risk of deportation. Create a public statement that your community is a welcoming space for all people. If your congregation is ready to offer sanctuary to someone facing deportation orders, assist with food, shelter, and legal needs. Our faith calls us to the work of sanctuary. We will not be driven by fear. We will not let fear drive our decisions who we are as a people, and what we value in this community. We are a people of courage, we are a people of faith, we are a people of peace. Thank you. Support your county, city, and state in creating safe zones for all residents by law or practice so that no money or resources aid unjust deportations. Advocate for safe zones to stop ICE access to jails and police databases, holding people in jail due to immigration status, local law enforcement holding people for ICE violates the Fourth Amendment. Cities and counties have no legal obligation to enforce immigration laws with ICE. Get all your friends to call their local county and city representatives to limit ICE's ability to divert resources away from community safety. Advocate to stop. Information sharing such as addresses or release dates. Share the impact of safe zones with these elected officials, either one-on-one -on -one or at public city and county meetings. We are all immigrants. The Trump agenda is to deport people as quickly as possible, ignoring constitutional human rights. Everyone has a right to due process, regardless if you are a citizen or not. Sanctuary is a way to uphold that right. We are our, our own, own protectors. protectors. We, will we will build sanctuary, sanctuary for our communities and keep our people safe. safe.